The blockchain section of the game is consisted from the three parts, and they are smart contracts, wallet, and the RPC client. The smart contracts are your little programs that run on the Neo blockchain network. Wallet is your identifier. Each request to the blockchain, including the smart contract invocation, requires identification. RPC client is used to interact from the decentralized game to the blockchain network. In this video tutorial, we will set up the environment to build the decentralized games using the popular game engine Unity on Windows operating system. Even the topic is specifically about the decentralized games, the other kind of dApps actually have the same processes. First, you have to install the game engine, I think it's obvious. Go and download the Unity 3D from the official website. Second, you have to install the Git client on your computer. Since most libraries that we want to use are open source, and with the Git client we can get them from the GitHub, the most popular hosting service for projects. Third, install the Docker. With the Docker we will create private blockchain network on your computer and test the dApp during the development locally. The setting up your editor is highly dependent on the programming language that you choose to build smart contracts. We will use the C-sharp as the most popular programming language that uses it among Neo community members. So for this reason, we will choose the Visual Studio. Go and download it from the official website. A little bit of topic. Before we start to set up the environment, we have to know how smart contracts are running on blockchains. The node is in any device attached to the blockchain network. When we invoke the smart contracts, then it will be run on the inside of special virtual machine called Neo Virtual Machine. The smart contracts machine code for Neo Virtual Machine have the AVM extension. Therefore, after the writing of the smart contracts on any programming language, we have to generate from it the AVM file. Unfortunately, the official Neo doesn't come with the ready-to-use compiler. Thus, you have to build the compiler from the source code. Instead of the building the official Neo compiler as suggested by the Neo documentation, we will use the Neo debugger tools. Additionally to the compiler, it also has a debugging tools to help to profile the smart contracts. Back to our job. Clone the GitHub project of the Neo debugging tools. Open the solution on the Visual Studio and build the Neo compiler. Locate the binary files of the recently built compiler and add them to the path system. Doing so, we can automatically generate the AVMs from the Visual Studio itself later. To test our building, run on the command line the following comment. If it works, you have to see the version of the new compiler. Now let's enable the Visual Studio to understand the namespaces for new smart contracts. Inside of the Visual Studio, go to the Tools, Extensions and Updates, Online tab. Type the Neo contract on the search field. Install the Appearate plugin on the list. After restarting the editor, when selected the option to create a new solution, you will see the Appearate Neo contract template too. Let's test it by Hello World. Create the solution with the Neo contract template. If after creating you will see the Visual Studio don't understand Neo namespace, Right click on the solution on Explorer panel and click on Manage NuGet packages for solution. Restore the Neo contract. Restart the editor. Now editor understand Neo namespace. Build the solution. At the output panel you can see the generated AVM file name. Since we install at Neo debugger tools we can run the smart contracts on debugger. Find the location of the smart contract Run the Neo D comment with the path of AVM file as argument. Test it by clicking F10. Double click to see the hide it buttons. To test the smart contracts, Neo has a test net. But unfortunately, getting gas for that net is limited. And better suggestion is using the private Neo network during the development. Here we have a Neo local. It comes with a private network and wallet with the many gases to quickly use the private net. Clone the new local from the GitHub. Run it on the Docker with comment as seen on Neo Local's documentation. 
For the first time, it will take a little bit longer time to download all data and run the new local. If we did everything successfully, we can go on the browser to NeoScan at the local host on 4000 port. To contact with the network, you can use the Neo client. Neo local already comes with the client, the Neo Python, but we will use the Neo GUI since it has an interface that is easier to work with at the beginning. Download it from the official Neo website. Inside of the client's folder, change the configuration and protocol to use a private network. Delete the chains and pierce data. To test it, let's create a new wallet and input the wallet with the gas that came with the Neo local itself. The private key of this wallet is shown on the Docker page. Neolux is an open source package for Unity that has a RPC client and basic wallet system for Neo. Clone it into your machine. To test all parts of the dApp, let's use the Unity demo that comes with the Neolux. Open it on Unity, import the Neolux package, then open the script and change the network method to the private net. Also change the private key address to your copying from the Neo GUI. If we will run the game, we can see the actual amount of gas that wallet has on your private net. Every time when you set up the environment for a new project, you have to run the Neo local on Docker and import the Neolux to your Unity project. Don't forget that.